Hi there, this is Alex with DCC Train LLC, Mall Chain Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, guys, I want to introduce my introductory uh, short videos in the future, how I'm doing installations, actually. Lately, I'm getting a lot of emails with uh, kind of scary pictures when guys try to do something with the engine, remodel it, or means with electronics mostly, and they actually didn't work so or guys coming to the store uh, bringing the box and I'm see like <laughs> many many parts and some melted parts and melted decoders and smoke decoders all that stuff so we'll do go we'll go over the tools I'm using okay and uh, my soldering station this is at my basement at home I have almost identical at the store uh, you don't need a lot of space, just keep it clean and um, prepare for the installation. A uh, bigger gauge is I'm just uh, disassembling uh, engines um, in a different workbench, the bigger workbench. So, uh, tools, very important. Soldering experience, very important as well. Um, even uh, you don't need to solder anything, you need to check how wires solder to this plug, checking on every single ju join and, and soldering. So um, that will prevent from, from, the, from the problems in the future. And we'll just go over my tools uh, real quick. Um, what you see right now, I'm working, um, for example, this is regular chapstick, but it's bamboo and uh, not leaving any damaging paint and if I need to take those um, for example um, hoses and everything I'm using this like pulling it out yeah very good tools to to check something you know not metal absolutely dielectric you know over almost 14 years doing those installations okay I accumulate those nice tools. I have a bunch of different ones. I cannot duplicate some of them, so I have small box, toolbox, and traveling with um, with this box from layouts, from home to the store, um, taking taking to the um, uh, taking to the vacation, so everywhere. Uh, you will see here my Flashman command station with uh, lens, it's actually not lens, but using Lex technology, black box programmer. I think they're still available and it's great programming tools. So I'm using two Marklin transformers. This is for testing also as well for Marklin um, locomotives. So with this lens, uh, LH100, using uh, black box programmer, I'm programming all my uh, decoders and testing them. And this is Rocco, actually Fleischmann Rocco. Um, my station, I'm uh, running trains with it, okay? So now, I have just standard set of the screwdrivers. they good quality, very good quality from good set. Again, you're starting with some, some inexpensive, but you're always thinking to update to, to good one. Better, if you have chance, you can uh, start with the good stuff. So just small cutting knife, you know, um, good quality cutters, you know, for small wires, um, small pliers to bend something, you know. This Swiss Army knife, like I'm using a lot for everything, pretty much. I'm using uh, actual real solder. This one is uh, 6040, but I believe um, it's like I cover it with, with the 40 to 60. Radio Shack. I think this roll like for almost like five years, but I'm not installing a lot of at home. Uh, if you see, it's kind of clean, and that's how I'm working always. Okay, to keep it clean. You will see at the end of installation here. I'm 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 um, putting my small uh, cutting pieces. You know, uh, next to it. Um, this is from different engine uh, cover for a tender, but this is parts from that particular engine. And actually, the tender is from that engine. I'll show you real quick. 
that has QSI decoder and unfortunately first generation of them not working and I need to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> okay, so back to, so with this uh, standard um, screwdrivers I can open pretty much anything and I have here toothpicks if I'm opening, uh, for example, that tender, I open with the toothpick, pry a little bit, put that toothpick, four of them, and just pull, pull the, pull the cover of the tender. Okay. Now this is my uh, um, very important. I think most important in soldering is uh, your flux. This is Kester 186. I'm selling it as well. Um, in different variety of the, um, I can sell this uh, distributing in that bottle or that's my traveling version I think I mentioned already in different videos yeah kind of beat it up bit, bit up but it, it's still great work, working I'm working on pencil layout with this now um, that is a special fan su sucking fume you know very important too if you're working on a lot of installations right and I'm usually opening doors and in, in the basement or at the store it's always uh, circulating and this is my soldering station it's kind of very top of the line but that's important for me because I'm doing it for a living you know I'm doing this for 40 years when I was kid and I was working at the factory um, uh, assembling those uh, microelectronics elements on component level so it's uh, very important for me I have uh, three different temperature presets here very easy to control and this is my always yes you have you have to have that cleaning uh, pad any you can use this with the water I'm not using it it just uh, I don't know I'm a little bit old school I'm just putting paper towel and that's see how how it's clean the tip always um, at the store I have bigger biggest soldering station sometimes I cannot do um, G scale or something tougher wires with this it's still very powerful but it's more for like my uh, uh, very very fine microelectronics so I can resolder wires here I can easily resolder wire on the plug if I'm going to do something um, easy um, for me to to do it with that small soldering gun so here I have a Z21 New Rocco command station uh, working with um, iPhone iPad or any uh, wireless devices uh, allowing to install their software and uh, behind it there is a lock programmer and that's my test track here I'm, I think it's very old but it works great for me you know works just great uh, okay guys I think that will be the end of the video I just want to show you my tester it's also overkilled it's nice fluke um, I think I have it for seven something years uh, and it works great for me again uh, this is my tools you, you don't need that spend much money uh, but I just wanna you help you to understand that tools very important and uh, better get like better quality from the beginning okay and of course you can try uh, installations yourself uh, but it's required some experience you know so you will stop at, at the right time you know um, not damaging and uh, uh, the electronics or the engine you know and your mood will be much better believe me <laughs> uh, also uh, before you doing uh, do research uh, do some uh, video try to look at the videos maybe there is some articles of, of installations uh, for that particular model you know so it's very important to prepare for it sometimes I, if I if I'm not I don't know what I'm doing and I'm doing it for 40 years more than 40 years when I was a kid and uh, I was working at the factory assembling all that stuff uh, electronics and component level and if sometimes I don't know what I'm doing I'm just 
put, I'm take, putting away and um, that's what's happening right now. I, I put like a little bit pause on that installation because I just want to uh, remodel that um, different location for the speaker. I'm not happy with uh, with uh, with actually manuf manufacturer's um, original suggestion of the speaker. So now I'm thinking about and I swap my all attention um, push my attention to to that different locomotives here. Okay, so I need to figure out what to do with this. See, it's a lot of wires. I need to clean all that stuff because that decoder is going <laughs> out of here. So of course, guys. No problem to try, just uh, think ahead what, what's the, what the plan and properly execute it. That's gorgeous engine, that's just fantastic engine. Uh, many, new manufacturer for me, I, I'm, not, I'm not really familiar. Uh, so make a comment, tell me what you want me to, to do next time and I'll do my best. Have a good one, bye.